Hi fudgies and welcome back to Bunches of Lunches. This week I have lots of fun lunches to share with you and all these lunches are inspired by New Year's Eve party food. And of course these lunches are fun but they're super easy to make. Now before we jump right in, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already. And now on to the lunches. Okay guys, I'm kicking things off with lunch idea number one. This lunch is going to combine two of our favorite party foods, pizza and sliders. To make these pizza sliders, I'm gonna start with some King's Hawaiian Rolls. These are so good. The next thing I'm going to do is add some pasta sauce. Now the trick here is not to use too much sauce, but you also don't wanna use too little sauce, otherwise your sandwiches will be dry. Next I'm adding about three quarters of a cup of shredded mozzarella cheese, followed by a good thick layer of turkey pepperoni. There is a lot of pepperoni on here and that's exactly how we like it. Next, I'm adding another three quarters of a cup of shredded mozzarella. These sliders are gonna be extra cheesy and delicious. So now I'm just gonna put the top of the bread on and before I stick it in the oven, I have a really yummy sauce that I wanna spread on the top. For this, I'm using just a little bit of melted butter. To this, I'm going to add some powdered garlic, and some Italian seasoning, and then I'm going to mix it up. And then using my basting brush, I'm just gonna lightly coat the top. Last but not least, I'm also gonna sprinkle a little bit of Parmesan cheese all over the top. These sandwiches are gonna come out toasty and cheesy, but the best part is that they were really easy to make. While those are in the oven, I'll go ahead and prepare today's vegetable, which is just gonna be a few carrots. And in just about 10 minutes, our sliders are ready. These smell so good. The tops are a little bit toasty and buttery. The cheese inside is nice and melted. I'm pretty sure my kids are gonna love these. Now, I like to serve these when they're nice and hot, but you could definitely serve them room temperature as well. For our fruit today, I'm going to add some honeydew melon with just a handful of blueberries. I'll add a handful of carrots. And if you guys have been around for a while, you'll know that if there's carrots, there's often ranch as well. And then I'm also gonna throw in some really special yogurt. My kids have never tried them before. These are the Sour Patch Kids Go-Gurt yogurt tubes. For the drink today, I'm going to give the kids these really fun Minion juice bottles. There's actually apple juice inside. These are so cute. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever seen the Minion movie. We thought it was so funny. And then last but not least, I have a special treat for the kids today. I'm gonna let them share this box of Cracker Jacks. I know they'll be excited to see that there's a prize inside. This is definitely kind of an old fashioned treat. You guys, this snack is over 120 years old. And there you have it. There's everything in our lunch today. Okay guys, lunchtime is over and I've got Jackson here with me to tell me what he thought. What was your favorite part? Uh, the Cracker Jacks. The Cracker Jacks? We've never had Cracker Jacks before, so this was the first time. Did you find the prize inside? It was a sticker. So as you can tell, the sliders are completely gone and most everything else is gone too. What'd you think, Mackenzie? I really like the pizza sliders. Yeah, you ate both of them. What did you think about the Cracker Jacks? It was pretty good. What about you, Lily? What did you think of the pizza sandwich? Um, it was the yummiest. <laughs> the yummiest? Do you like anything else? Um, the no. juice or the Cracker Jacks? Um, only the juice. Only the juice and then the pizza. And we'll see you tomorrow, friends. Hey guys, and welcome to lunch idea number two. This lunch is based on another party favorite, which is cheesy bean dip. But we're gonna turn it into a lunch. I'm gonna use a really yummy but easy bean dip recipe. I'll go ahead and link it down below if you wanna check it out. This dip comes together in about 10 minutes. You only need a few ingredients. You could even add more layers to this dip and have like a seven layer thing going on. But today I'm just doing the beans and the cheese. Before I serve this, I do like to add more cheese on top and then stick it under the broiler for about five minutes. Now to keep this hot for lunch, I will go ahead and spoon it into my kids' thermoses. And then to go along with the bean dip, of course, I'm gonna add some chips to the lunch. These are the multi-grain scoops, which are perfect for dipping. 
For our vegetable today, I'm gonna add some celery, which is also very yummy to dip in the beans as well. And for the fruit, I have some delicious apples. But before I add these to the lunchbox, I'm going to let them soak in some water mixed with a little bit of lemon juice. This is gonna keep our apples nice and fresh in the lunchbox. They shouldn't turn brown and yucky. Ooh, and I almost forgot, I also wanna add a little bit of ranch to the lunch today so the kids can dip their celery in it. And then I'm also gonna give the kids a really yummy treat today. This is a rose con leche, which is basically rice pudding, but this one has lots of yummy cinnamon added to it. No raisins though, the kids don't like it if it has raisins in it. And then last but not least for the drink today, I'm gonna go ahead and give the kids some of these lemonade pouches from Trader Joe's. And I'd say that is a good looking lunch. Afterwards, I'll show you if they liked it or not. Lunch is over now. So what'd you think, Lily? What was your favorite part? Um, the rice cinnamon thing. Yeah, she really liked the rice pudding, but I have to say this is a really big cup. I think her and Jackson probably could have split one because they only ate about half. I like the bean dip too. What about you, Jackson? What was your favorite? Uh, the beans and the chips. And what about you, Kenzie? What was your favorite? I really like the beans and chips too. <laughs> so everybody liked that, huh? Mm-hmm. Good job today, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Hey fudgies, and welcome to lunch idea number three. And for this lunch, we're gonna start by making dessert first. And one treat that we always love to have at parties is some kind of Chex Mix. And then here comes the fun part. I'm gonna drizzle just a little bit of melted white chocolate all over the cereal and the pretzels and the M&Ms and then mix it all up together. Now before I can add this to the lunchbox, I do need to lay it on a cookie sheet and let the chocolate harden just a bit. So while that's happening, I'm going to heat up the main course, which is another party food that we love, and that's mini hot dogs. There are so many different ways you can make mini hot dogs for a party, but today I'm keeping it really easy. I'm just gonna heat up these bagel dogs. Now once I have the bagel dogs heated up, I'm gonna go ahead and add them to the thermoses, but I've also added a little paper towel in the inside of the thermos, and that's gonna help our food stay hot, but not get really soggy. At least that's the idea anyway. This is my first time trying this method, so we'll have to see if it works or not. Next, I'm gonna slice up some cucumbers. And of course, I'm gonna stick some ranch in there. I have a really good ranch recipe if you'd like to check it out. I will link it down below. I'm also gonna throw in some celery, pretty much just because I have it and I wanna use it all up before it goes bad. And then another food that we love to have at parties just to nibble on are black olives. So I'm just gonna add a few into today's lunch. And there you have it. This lunch is already kind of looking like a party veggie tray. For our fruit today, I'm gonna to add some cubes of cantaloupe. And then in this back section, I'm gonna go ahead and add our Chex Mix. The chocolate's all nice and hardened, so I can just break up a few pieces and put it in the lunchbox. Now, if you don't like white chocolate, you can make this Chex Mix with regular chocolate, and it's really good too. For an added snack today, I'm also gonna throw in some Doritos, but these are the Cool Ranch ones. I'm gonna put a poll in right here. Let me know if you prefer nacho flavored Doritos or Cool Ranch. Now I don't have a special drink for today's lunch, so I'm just gonna give the kids water. Most of the time they just have water anyway. Alrighty guys, lunch time is over and I've got Mackenzie here to tell us what she thought. I really, really love that Chex Mix. That Chex Mix, yeah. I feel like you can just put <laughs> You can put just about anything in the Chex Mix and it would be good, but I especially like that combination of salty and sweet, plus it's super easy to make. What else did you like? I really like the cucumbers. Okay, Jackson, what did you think? Uh, I really liked it. What was your favorite part? I liked the, the pigs in a blanket and I liked the... The, the little bagel dogs? Uh-huh, and I liked the, what is it, the... Things. Oh, the Chex Mix? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now it's Lily's turn. What did you think? Um, my favorite part was the hot dog. The little hot dogs. Mm -hmm. Did you like anything else? Um, no. <laughs> no? <laughs> Not even the Chex Mix? What's the Chex Mix? The Chex Mix, the cereal with the chocolate on it? Well, somebody ate all mine, so I don't know. <laughs> somebody ate yours? Yeah. Was it Jackson? Uh, yeah, it was Jack. Well, I have some more. Do you need some more? Well, I don't know. Oh, okay. So you see you tomorrow.
Hey there, and welcome to lunch idea number four. For this lunch, I'm gonna start by heating up some chicken taquitos. These are definitely one of the easiest party foods that you can make, and I especially like to bring them to parties. They're not fancy, but they're often the first to go. People love them. And I like to put these in my toaster oven, that way they cook really fast, but they get nice and crispy on the outside. Now the trick to putting these in a lunch is actually going to be to cut them in half, that way that it can actually fit in the thermoses. Now whenever I bring taquitos to a party, I also like to bring some dipping sauces. So for this lunch, I'm giving each kid a little container of sour cream and a little container of mild guacamole. For our fruit today, I'm keeping it super simple. I'm just gonna throw in a mandarin orange. And of course, I'm gonna add my favorite picks. I love to add googly eye picks to my oranges. It's super easy, but it makes them look really fun. Almost like a cute little monster. Next, I'm gonna throw in some carrots with some ranch, of course. Next, I'm also gonna throw in some cheese cubes. These are a Colby Jack cheese, and they're just like the ones you might find on a cheese platter at a party. For an added snack today, I'm also gonna offer the kids some sun chips. And for the treat, this tiny little package of Oreo cookies. There's just two cookies in there, perfect for a lunch. And then last but not least, I'm also gonna throw in this yogurt drink. The kids love these, and they especially love the strawberry banana flavor. But I don't buy them too often. Lunch is over now, and I didn't eat much of my food. No, you didn't. Were you too full today? Yeah. Now I do have to say that she opened up her yogurt here, which she did drink, and she spilled it all over her other foods, and so you didn't want to eat them then, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh well. So but did you at least? But you tried everything, right? Yeah. What was your favorite part? Um, um, my favorite was um the drink, even though it squatted. <laughs> the yogurt drink, strawberry banana. That was delicious. What about you, big sister? What did you think? It was cool. What was your favorite part? I really liked the yogurt drink. Mm-hmm. Did your taquitos stay nice and crispy in your thermos, or did they get soggy? Um, they're nice and crispy. Oh, good. And last but not least, Jackson. What did you think? Um, my favorite part is um the yogurt drink. Yeah, everybody loved the yogurt. Did you like the taquitos? Yeah. Bye guys, see you tomorrow. Hey guys, and welcome to lunch number five. Now, just like with all of our lunches this week, this one's gonna have lots of party foods in it, but I'm actually gonna start by making dessert first. I thought it would be really fun to give the kids fortune cookies today, but to make them extra cute, I took some of my leftover white chocolate and melted it down, and now I'm going to dip half of my fortune cookie in the white chocolate and then quickly dip it into some sprinkles. These are super easy to make, but cute enough to take to a party. So now that I have all of my sprinkles on there, I am gonna set this aside so that the chocolate has time to harden. And while that's happening, I'm gonna move on to my meatballs. Meatballs are definitely a classic party food. You can just throw them in the crock pot with lots of different kinds of sauces, and they're usually a crowd pleaser. But since I'm just making a few meatballs today, I'm gonna do this on the stove. And for our special sauce today, I'm gonna to use a combination of our favorite barbecue sauce, and I'm going to combine that with our favorite Asian-style barbecue sauce. So there's teriyaki in there, ginger and garlic. It's a delicious combination. Now that the meatballs are heated through, I'll go ahead and add them to the thermoses. Now since our meatballs have sort of an Asian flavor to them, I thought some steamed dumplings would go really well with them. These ones are full of chicken and vegetables, and they come with a yummy dipping sauce. And then for our fruit today, another party favorite, which is a fruit salad. Now I'm keeping mine super simple today. It's just fruit. I'm not gonna add any Cool Whip or any added sugar. For our vegetable today, I'm adding some sugar snap peas. And then last but not least, our really cute fortune cookies. I'm gonna give the kids two a piece. Lunch time is over now, here's what we eat. Overall, the kids love the fruit salad. It's pretty much all gone. And surprisingly, the meatballs are all gone too. What do you think, Kenzie? I really like the meatballs. Yeah, that was a good, very good sauce on there. 
But I have to say they didn't really like the dumplings very much. I thought they were really good, especially with the dipping sauce. Now for Lily, I'm amazed. You must have really liked those meatballs, huh? Yeah. Was that your favorite or was something else your favorite? The meatballs. The meatballs. She ate all three of them or two of them? Um, three. And, you, and we gave the last one to Griffin. And Jackson's actually not here right now, so he can't tell you what he liked, but he did eat all of his meatballs as well. We'll see you next week. Happy New Year. Let me know in the comments down below, out of all of the lunches this week, which one was your favorite? Give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. And Happy New Year. Happy New Year.